Let's see if we're going to continue playing Hooker Duck when I am on the road permanently or if we're going to find a more practical solution. Hello, welcome to my December TBR. If you are new here, hi, thanks for joining. Doing this for the first time in my van, yay! My reading last month has sucked. So I have quite a few books that are either rolling over, that, I, that need to roll over, that I want to read. You can see most of them that I somehow want to make fit in my TBR game in here. I also have a list of seven books that are ebooks or audiobooks that I want to make fit and that is Iron Widow, Lucy, Escaping First Contact, Vengeful, All of Us Villains, The Last Graduate and Safe Arbor. Let's play Hook a Duck. Let's hope that I incorporate the books in my game. It's so dark in here. I hope that I can see the colors well. Let me grab another light. <sighs> That was so like clear that this is gonna happen. The game is played as follows. I'm going to hook a duck, which has a color on the bottom. Yellow stands for out of my comfort zone. Orange stands for a fantasy. Dark blue stands for a historical fiction. Red for a contemporary, which also includes thrillers and romance and that kind of stuff. Out of my comfort zone includes short stories, romance, everything that I'm not as as much enjoying as much green stands for an arc and black for sci-fi and ethno futurism the goal is to have picked green twice because i need to reduce my arcs and if i have a second or third in the arc like in a series then that one counts as well as an arc after picking the genre i'm picking a card my wonderful friend addy created them for me and then i'm going to try and match whatever I picked. So let's hope that it's not going to be too crazy and pick the first color. Let's pick this one. I choose you. This one is black. So sci-fi ethnofuturism. We have Cytonic on there. We have adult rights. I think Dread Nation also counts as sci-fi ethnofuturism. Let's hope that one of the cards plays into my cards. Oh, and then Iron Widow and Escaping First Contact. Sci-fi and Ethnofuturism should be easy. And I have picked not so sure about it anymore. So something that I've picked or I signed up for and I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it anymore. So Haruki Murakami, does that count as sci-fi? I have no idea what this is like what that is. Let's see. Probably something like magical realism or something. Science fiction. Yes. Yes. So uh, 1Q84 is considered science fiction, magical realism and science fiction. I've read two Haruk um, Haruki Murakami and the magical realism is a little bit too much for me. So I'm not so sure about it anymore, but it is a traveling book. So I'm going to read it. All right, you go back and the second color. I hope this video is not too dark. I do need to invest in a ring light for my van. Um, let's pick a yellow duck. Uh oh. So one duck is without a sticker and that's black. So if I pick a duck without a sticker, that's black. Ah! We're not good at this today. Green, okay, the first green one, yay. That's good, that's good. Green one, what are we gonna do with a green one? Uh, continuous series. Okay, that's easy. That is easy because we do. I do have um, the last graduate, which is on my list. It is an arc, and I it's continuing a series. So yay, that was easy. Okay, you go back, and then let's shuffle this around. Let us pick you. Orange fantasy. We have a couple of fantasy on my 
pile. I hope that I don't have to pick another fantasy that is not on my pile yet because I have a few books on there that are big and I don't really want to add a lot of pages. We have from my top shelf. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't think anything... I think technically this was from my top shelf. Let me double check my top shelf um, shelf on Goodreads. I physically have my top shelf at my home, but I know that I put all of the top shelves into a shelf on Goodreads so that I sort them and, and look for something if I need to. 21 books according to this at this point. Um, Machine Hood, 400 Souls, and Pilgrim. Monday's Not Coming, I already read that. The Good Luck Girls, I think, is a fantasy. The Magnolia Sword is a fantasy. I need to desperately update this because this does not have any fantasy on, in it and this is old. Um, but I am pretty sure that the Like a River So Glorious is was on my top shelf and that's how I picked it potentially last month. So we're rolling this over and we're gonna pick that. Okay, you go back and let's shuffle this around. Okay. Orange, another fantasy. What's in the cards for me now? From my wish list. Okay, this does add something to my TBR because my wish list is items that I don't own yet. So let's see what's on my wish list. Ooh, no, no, no. I was like, oh, that's on my wish list, but that's not. Um, so Rhythm of War is on my wish list technically because it's in English, but I already own it in German. So that's not. No, we're not going to count that. We're not going to count that. Let's see, what are the latest things that I put on my wish list? A fantasy on my wish list. Is vengeful fantasy or science fiction? Because I still haven't... I, I didn't buy it yet. Fantasy, science fiction. Does vengeful count as fantasy? Please let me know if you would say it's fantasy. What else do I have on my wish list? Okay, maybe let's look at some series progress. I would love if I could combine this with some series progress. Oh, The Queen of Nothing. I could finish that series. Yeah, I mean, why not look at series that I could finish? Okay, so The Queen of Nothing, Muse of Nightmares, Wayfarer, Vengeful, A Sky Beyond the Storm. I really want to read that. But that's a big chunker. The Cursed Sea, Rise, Finale, fin finale Obsidio is a, the, the Faithless Hawk, Unravel the Dusk, Vicious Spirits, Hollow Pox, The Theft of Sunlight. Why don't we go for the Queen of Nothing? I really want to be done with that. Unless. T you you tell me if I could consider Vengeful by V.E. Schwab as a fantasy and if yes I'm gonna read Vengeful and if not I'm gonna read The Queen of Nothing. You tell me. Okay. I'm not getting better at this. <laughs> I think this was yellow. Yeah, <laughs> this was yellow. Oh my god, I do need to redo these. So yellow is out of my comfort zone. Uh, Haruki, Haruki Murakami I would consider out of my comfort zone now. But aside from that, I'm not sure if I have much on my tibia that I would consider out of my comfort zone yet. So mm, again, from my top shelf. Okay, okay, from my top shelf. Out of my comfort zone from my top shelf. Ooh, I have, I have, I have um, a romance on my top shelf. I have a romance on my top shelf, like fake love song. Um, let's take that one. Alrighty, this is pick number six. <gasps> I suck at this. <gasps> I love that I picked a game that I can't do. Okay, we have another orange, another fantasy. And I feel like 
the light is getting darker and I'm getting harder and harder to see. Da, da, da. This is so bad. <laughs> this is really bad. <clears throat> okay. We have super hyped for it. So a fantasy that I'm super hyped for is definitely the Sanderson Rhythm of War. I'm super hyped for everything on my TV already. So yeah, super hyped for it is easy. That is another yellow. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Let's get an interesting card. Not so sure about it anymore. Out of comfort zone, not so sure about it anymore. Oh, shit. Oh, that is hard. That's hard. The Haruki Murakami comes to mind again. Maybe we can swap it with a sci-fi that I'm not so sure about it anymore. Not really. Okay, let's see. To read. Okay, I found one. Okay, so I have an arc, um, which is a nonfiction that's called Shelf Love. Um, what shelves tell tell about us and it has a 3.34 rating so i'm really not sure about it anymore i just when i got when i requested it it sounded so interesting but then i was like no no and i've been pushing it since august uh because i'm not sure about it anymore i choose you i'm so sorry that this is so dark i'm so sorry I put new batteries into these lights so it's a little bit lighter, but apparently that didn't help. We have a historical fiction. I think historical fiction, the only one is The Mountain Sings that is on my pile at this moment. I think everything else is not historical fiction. Let's see if we're adding something to my TBR. Let's choose this one. Wild card. Okay, wild card. Then we'll take The Mountain Sings. Let's choose you. Come on. Another yellow? It's the same freaking one every single time. No, I don't want another out of my comfort zone. I really don't. Because they're really hard to fill and decide what to read. They're really hard because I don't ha own a lot of them. From a subscription book box. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we probably have to go the Romans sector. I don't have any nonfiction. Okay, let's see. Do I have a shelf with my subscription box books? Let's take From Twinkle with Love. I've been trying to read this for the longest time and it's just out of my comfort zone. I, because it sounds too romancy. Okay, now let's get another green. sci-fi afrofuturism ethnofuturism so that's good that's good and we are from my wish list shoot no i'm not cheating cytonic technically was from my wish list and i just got it but that's cheating if vengeful doesn't count as a fantasy i'm gonna count it for this one you're deciding that you know what yeah let's go for binti too it's not too big of a book. It progresses me in my series, <laughs> uh, trying to get series done. I think that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Okay. A good choice that my TBR game added to my never ending list of books that I already picked for the month to read. Oh no, we have two. Okay, please let one of them be green. No, <laughs> we have orange and red. Oh shoot, okay. Damn it, that was not good. Let's do fantasy first. 
from my top shelf. Okay. Was Dread Nation on my top shelf? I don't think so. What's on my top shelf? Okay, let's take the Magnolia Sword, um, the Mulan retelling. And then we have Red, which is contemporary. Oh shit, how many do we already have? This is my 12? Are you kidding me? 12 books for my TBR game? Shuffle music. Okay, so the deal with this is that I'm going to shuffle my music that I've been playing lately and the song that is playing, I have to find a book that reminds me of that song somehow. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff in there. Shuffle. And we have Spice Girls to become one. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> to become one. I can only think of a of a romance book. I think I'm gonna go with Safe Harbor. Ooh, no. Okay, I'm gonna take Rhythm of War. I can't explain it, but I feel like potentially, I mean, this is book four, so I can't go into why I think, but I think that one of the characters might potentially, hopefully, have to become one situation coming up. I'm hoping for it, I'm rooting for it. So yeah, that's, yeah, I'm taking, I ta I'm taking that. Hey, um, obviously I am not able to take Rhythm of War if the genre that I picked is contemporary. Completely watched that one. So I was looking for a few things. I was looking so for some contemporaries that might uh, remind me of the Spice Girls, of a girl group or anything, but I ended up just with such bricky books that I can't add to my already long TBR. So I ended up putting another romance on my TBR. So we now have, instead of this one, we have The Upside of Falling, which I had in a subscription box at one point, And that is just a, like a high school romance. And To Become One is just... Yeah, I mean, the title just feels romancy, so that's my reason. Okay, so now we need green. And we have another sci-fi futurism. I love this shuffle music card, though. I love that challenge, so that's different. And we have Have I Read It? Okay, so Have I Read It is a book that I've had on my TBR over the past year and that I wanted to make a video. I actually filmed the video, but I have never edited and released it. But I have my Have I Read It shelf. So pretty much all of the books that I had on my TBR once and I haven't finished yet are fair game. Have I Read It? I have 55 books on that shelf. We should find some sci-fi um, ethnofuturism, but I don't think anything on my list would qualify. We would have Goddess in the Machine, Zone 1. I had that on my, have I read it? Other Earth. Yeah, we're going with Other Earth. Also in January, I'm going to make another Have I Read It video where I'm going to go through all of the TBRs, um, like my monthly TBRs from 2021 and we'll see which books I ended up not reading and they will become my new Have I Read It list for 2022. And I choose you. Please be green. Please be green. Nope, that's red. So contemporary. I still have, um, I think The Night She Disappeared is contemporary and Safe Harbor is contemporary. Other than that, I don't have anything else contemporary on the list. From my wish list. Shit! Okay, I don't want from my wish list. We've had this so many times. This card is disqualified. I think we should add a new rule that if I pick a card twice, that it's disqualified from my top shelf because it's boring. What do you think? Should we add a rule like that? Let me know. Um, odd number of pages. Okay, so does the only one book that I have on my list of things that I want to squeeze in, does it have an odd number of pages? Please say yes. 401. 
including acknowledgements. Let's just say it counts. It counts. It counts. Okay, pick number 15. Green. Yes. Okay, green. All right, good. This is the end. <laughs> this is the last pick, which is good. And what are we doing with this one? Less than 250 pages. Okay, do we have an arc that has less than 250 pages? Why doesn't it show the number of pages? Oh, because it doesn't know. I've already read this. So censored is 211 and then dark one volume one is 224. Let's pick dark one volume one because that's a graphic novel and I need that. This is it. This is it for today. Um, I am so, so sorry for the light. I hope you were able to still see it all. These are the books. <laughs> this is me. This is the game. I'm gonna work on it. Um, I'm gonna have to invest in a ring light. I, I'm gonna have to invest in better lighting in the van in the first place. So, and it is in November, it, December, it just gets dark so quickly. I filmed this thinking I have still a lot of time filming with light outside, but it's dark outside now. We're gonna work on that. Thanks for joining me. Wish me luck. These are a lot of books. Hope I'll see you again soon. Bye! Just loving this moment Forever.